Hi, we're standing here with BG Bisco, with Sue Erosion Control, and with Wyatt Con Con Contracting. Thank you, he's corrected me on that before. Wyatt Contracting, yeah. in their amazing new facility here in Weatherford that's being built just uh, straight east of the old uh, Emation 3M facility. And uh, we're standing in the offices uh, of the company uh, with amazing concepts going, uh, showing some of the materials that they actually do here. So tell me just briefly, kind of what are the main services that this company does? Um, so Surrey Roach Control is just a sod company. We grow and sell sod to uh, supplier or to landscapers, and we okay. supply them sod. And then we do a lot of ODOT work. We lay bridges, roads, schools. We do we do everything commercial, so yeah. residential. So so when you see uh, a new construction along the highway, and you see these big tractors with this big roll of sod mm -hmm. that's coming off, that could be your guys. That's us. Yep. Okay. All right. I wondered how you get that sod yeah. out there so quickly. <laughs> yeah. So fast. And so then, what other services do you offer? Um, so, uh, the Sioux does the sod mainly, and then the erosion control goes with it. Silt fence, silt dike, anything erosion control, seeding, hay blowing. That's why you see a lot of hay down the road. That's, okay. We blow that on the side of the roads okay. for erosion control. It's temporary until we get there to sod it. Okay, very good. So, and then uh, Wyatt Contracting, it's a concrete company that pours uh, box bridges and does um, waterways and stuff. Um, okay. Any type of drainage projects. We do piping underground. Uh, so. Very good. And so, as you said, this is an example of some of your concrete yes. work, which yes. is actually a, a very cool feature to what you've done. And, and BG has uh, designed this whole concept too, and you're serving as the contractor for this, which is amazing. But you should have that skill level with yeah. everything else you're doing. Right. So it shouldn't surprise anybody. <laughs> um, and of course, you know, Weatherford High School grad, so we're, we're proud of him and everything he's done here as well. But this is a, a wall that you all have poured and is gonna be stay exposed as part of the design of the office complex here yes. as well. Yep. Yeah, he showed us some other cool features of um, exposed brick and different things that kind of have more of an industrial look. A lot of glass, you've said, right. in the office. Yeah. That's little, we want an open feel. I mean, our other little shop was so little, everybody's confined, and yeah. so we just decided to do glass so we could see each other. Yeah, so. and so building the company up to uh, over 100 employees now yeah. is pretty amazing. So that you need space for oh, all yeah. of them. They yep. need office space. So standing behind us also is an amazing shop complex that uh, typically, what are the things done in the shop? Uh, so the front of the building is just going to be used for meetings. It's a big room, a lot of meetings for drivers or crew members or just having the whole company come together. We do cookouts and stuff. Uh -huh. um, nice. So, so it's a good company to work for is what oh, you're yeah. saying. Yeah, we do giveaways yeah. and little yeah. things. <laughs> yeah. So if anybody so, needs a job, yeah. they should call Allison? Yeah, there Okay, you go. all right. Um, but the rest of the shop is uh, parts room, mm -hmm. bathrooms, of course, and then uh, we have a yeah. welding shop inside the mechanic shop. Um, okay. There is a wash bay, complete drive-through wash bay for all our trucks and equipment. Yeah. Um, and then... That's about it in there. Yeah. So. yeah. So the other thing that we were talking about is that we're th you're calling this actually an industrial park mm -hmm. because not only will it house your facilities but other businesses as well. And so you've said you do have some that you're already uh, working with that will be coming out. Creek Company. You're talking with uh, you know electric companies and various companies about coming out. Mm -hmm. um, but you also have spaces still available. Is that yes. right? Yeah, we have Good. about 21 acres, give or take, um, okay. that's going to be available in this middle section here. So, okay, um, big enough to do whatever we need to, yeah. you know, do for other companies. So. Very good. With great exposure yeah. to one of the busiest highways in the I United States. Is perfect location. Yeah, yeah, and it's very visible because we've been watching all your progress right. every day <laughs> as we go by. It's been very fun to watch. Cool. Yeah. So, what else out here do you need to tell us about? Um, I don't know. We've, I mean, like, like you said, we've got a concrete company, Whitco, coming uh -huh. in. They're already uh, working on their plant. It'll be here Monday. Okay. Um, so they'll supply concrete. Just now, be another they, supplier. 
Were they located somewhere else? No, it's a new oh, okay. venture. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Local ownership? Or? Yes. Uh, okay. Rusty Whitson, Jamie Whitson. Oh, yeah. With the RV park. Oh, so, wow. With Wonderlust. So they're local, yeah. They are very local, so, yeah. And then Culver Electric mm -hmm. um, has just interest in five acres down the, down the street from the concrete okay. plant. And, okay. And then, like I said earlier, uh, we have Hermetic Flower Company mm -hmm. that will eventually uh, put in a new facility over here. So. Okay, okay. And a recent uh, request for annexation yes. into the city limits, which uh, could prove to be very valuable for the city of Weatherford yep. in a time that you can create sales tax for various things. And so that's, that's great, too. Yeah. And it's nice to expand the... The horizons of Weatherford it just yes. makes Weatherford bigger. Exactly, so and that's I, great. just being from here, and this is my hometown. This is something I've dreamed of. You know, just being yeah. able to do something to help benefit Weatherford. You yeah. Know? So. Well, it definitely could do that. Hopefully, we can bring in some more companies with more jobs. You know, that's that's the whole goal. So. Sure, and more sales tax revenue for the city. There you go. In the same light. Yep. Yeah. Very good. Well, it's great talking to you. Congratulations. I think you said your goal is sometime in September or early fall yep. to be moved into the offices and kind of have this uh, kind stage of complete, one complete. Yep. So that's exciting. So thank you for all you're doing for Weatherford. It is nice to have a Weatherford High School graduate doing great things and yep. staying in town and staying here and, and becoming very successful. So thank congratulations on everything you've done. Thank you.